Yeah, hi there, um, TV tube land people. Anyway, if you're one of those people out there that like big government and trust the government, then this video is probably not going to be for you. Anyone who's skeptical, skeptical and you know, is a thinker who likes to think about things and try to figure what's going on behind the curtain, then maybe you might want to think about something I have to say. And yeah, that is about the new or not so new, actually, COPPA law. So when I was a child and I would come home from school. I would go in first thing pretty much, well, if, unless I was going to go play outside. If it was a rainy day or whatever, I would go sit in the den and watch television, okay? And pretty much I only had maybe three or four channels, and it was a black and white television, and you had a remote, and it had an on and an off, and it had a, a channel button, and that was it. Very simple, okay? So, though that was back in the 60s. So fast forward, oh, and by the way, no, I didn't have my parents sitting behind my back telling me what I could or couldn't watch because, again, it was only three or four channels. But that's besides the point because fast forward till to today, to today. Again, kids come home from school. They have iPhones. They have laptops. They have computers. They do their homework on their computers. You know, what, what do they do? They go and they watch videos on YouTube. Okay. Most, I would say most now do watch videos on YouTube. And no, I don't think they have their parents behind their back 24 seven watching everything they watch and telling them what they can and can't watch. That's just not practical. A lot of children come home from school and nobody's home you know, and parents can't be watching over their kids 24 seven. That's just not even realistic, even in the slightest degree. It's delusional to think otherwise. Okay. So I don't know where people get off here on YouTube talking about, oh, well, it's the parents fault. You know, the parents should watch what the kids do on you on to YouTube and what watch what they watch on. No, that's not even close to being realistic. The reality of it is people have to work long hours to support families nowadays. And there are no more stay-at-home mothers. And even if there, if they, there were, I'm sure they have a lot of house chores to do. And I'm sure they can't uh, be watching over their, you know, children's back every second, especially after the, ch the child gets older. You know, like when the child reaches around 9 or 10 or 11 or 12, there's no way the parent's going to tell them what they can and can't watch. There's just no way it's ever going to work. They would get angry. I know I was. I was a very, very strong-willed child, and no one was going to tell me what I could and couldn't watch. Are you kidding me? No way. It's just not even real to think that they could. So where am I going with this? Okay, imagine this for a moment. We have this new COPPA law coming in, COPPA, okay? And that is because YouTube has been collecting, because it's actually Google, that's what they do, right? They've been collecting data on everyone that they see what they like, what they watch, what they might buy, and then they give them those personalized commercials according to what they think they might need, buy, or want that they're interested in. Harmless, okay, it's harmless. There's no trouble, problem. I don't see a trouble or a problem with that. However, because that was added into the law as in a, some kind of weird amendment before the internet or YouTube ever was even conceived of, now they're trying to, who, I mean, who are they is the question. You got to follow the money. A lot of people think it's Disney Channel or the new Disney app. A lot of people are saying it could be Hollywood because, again, kids aren't going on television anymore. They're going on the computer instead. They're watching a lot of things on YouTube instead. So it could be a Hollywood thing behind it all. I don't know exactly. All I know is this. I can pretty much say without a doubt 
What this is going to do, it's going to upset everything and everyone on YouTube. What I imagine is going to happen and what I pretty much know is going to happen. Once these so-called kids, you know, 10, 11, 12, start going on YouTube and trying to look, trying to find their favorite channels and they start to realize, well, wait a minute, they're not showing up. My favorite channels aren't showing up anymore. And all of a sudden their favorite channels are hidden somewhere. And it's almost like they don't even exist. They don't get no more notices on their favorite channels. And every time they want to watch something on their favorite channel, they got to actually go into the system on YouTube and actually hunt down their favorite channels and actually log into their favorite channels. And they'll no longer get no, no more notifications of their favorite channels. Now, I don't know about you, but I've actually had to do that a few times already because there are a few family friendly channels that I actually did watch. But to be quite honest with you, it's such a hassle to have to go in, look for them, get it, go on their channel and not get notifications. It's such a hassle now that I can honestly say I'm, I'm rarely even going to bother anymore looking for people that are no longer, I'm no longer getting notifications from because they actually did push the little family friendly, you know, um, option on their, for their channel. So I can only, you can only imagine, or I can only imagine that this is going to be true for a lot of people and a lot of children and kids as well. Again, they're not going to want to go through the hassle. So what this means is they're just going to watch whatever is available. So whatever channels that aren't marked kid friendly, they're going to go to. And what's the problem with that? Well, one in one word, analytics. So one of the re one of the ways that this um, they're going to enforce this culpa thing is they're going to look at your analytics. So a channel that let's say yesterday before this whole thing culpa thing came up, right? Channels created long ago, maybe they their analytics on their views of children were non-existing, and now all of a sudden us as creators have to constantly be checking out our analytics. And then what do you do if all of a sudden you got hordes of weaponized children coming onto your channel and causing your analytics to go sky high with, you know, younger viewers. Okay. What can you do? Nothing. You can do nothing. You can delete your channel. Maybe. I don't know. So the, the thing I'm trying to say is YouTubers, there is a war. There is a war on YouTubers, and I, I believe Hollywood could be behind it. And no one knows what's going to happen yet, okay? I'm just saying it could happen. Children could start watching videos that aren't marked for them because they're easier to find, okay? And then all of a sudden, the analytics on some channels that right now are, are very low and have virtually no children watching, all of a sudden, in a month or two, it could be sky high saying, oh yeah, lots of underage or under 13 are watching this channel. Why? Again, because these channels, adult made marked for adults only, are easier to find. They get notifications with them and they can talk, they can say things on there and it's more interactive and it's more like what they're used to, what they like. The channels that they used to watch, are they're no longer going to be able to comment. They're no longer going to be able to find them. They'll never long, no longer get notifications. It, it's going to be difficult for the, the, them to find their favorite channels. It's just going to, it's going to be a hassle, basically. They're hidden, okay? The channels they used to watch are all going to be hidden, and all the adult channels will be right there in plain sight for them to go and watch. So, yeah, I would say this, I would call this another one of uh, Hollywood's stunts of weaponizing children. Um, Greta Thunberg, anyone? Yeah, go figure. Take care.